what is dirtier, your phone or your toilet. In this video I'm testing it, but how do you test this? Well, there are three ways. 1. Smell test. Yeah, toilet loses. 2. Taste test. Um, I'm going to go to 3. The third and best way is a specialized test kit, but I had to do some advanced coding to find a website that sells this. It wasn't easy, but eventually I came to a website called Amazon or something. They sell agar plates. These can be used to detect things like bacteria and fungi. Agar is like food for bacteria and fungi, so when you swap the thing you want to test, and then the agar plate, you can see how dirty something is based on what grows on it. Apparently you can also use this to test if your air is safe to breathe, but I don't need a test to know that this air isn't safe to breathe. So I bought this kit, and besides the phone and the toilet, I'm testing different things. In total I'm testing 10 different things most of us use on a daily basis, and at the end of the video I'm ranking them from cleanest all the way to dirtiest, based on what grows on the plates. While we wait for the test kit to arrive I'm not sitting on my ass doing no- Okay yeah, technically I'm sitting on my ass, but I'm doing something. I'm selecting 10 objects to test and making labels. So the phone and toilet which I use daily, then my keyboard which I use daily, I think I need a black light for this one, then my shoe which I use daily, yeah you get the point I use a lot of things daily. The washing machine could be interesting, looks pretty clean, the fridge I wanna test this, that is where I keep my food, then a light switch, I mean look at it, so pretty, then some special things. The inside of my ant colony, I'll show that later. Then one of my terrariums, and for the last one I'm the most curious, I wanna know if my jar full of mold has mold, yeah I'm weird. So these are the 10 things, comment below what you think will be the dirtiest, and I don't want to see one, your mom comment down there, I'll be pissed. So 5 days later, the test kit finally arrived. Let's see what we got to work with. So this is the agar plate, smaller than I expected, <laughs> that's what she said. Besides the 10 plates, we also got some other science stuff, so I guess it's time for a science montage. I uh, expected, I expected that to go smoother. I'm a scientist, trust me, I know what I'm doing. It'll become clear in a minute what I'm doing here. These are all preparations for the test. Anyway, what I'm doing here is wasting your time. I didn't need any of this. I just wanted to look cool, okay? Wet the tip if you're going to be testing dry areas. That's what she said. <laughs> oh come on, I couldn't let that one slide. So this phone contains millions of bacteria. And to test for these, I need to do a couple of things. For this phone, I'll show you some details. For the rest of the items, I'll go faster. Step 1. Open this swap. It is because of the gloves, guys. Not because I'm dumb. Just kidding, I'm dumb. Like the instructions said, I need to make the tip wet. Then swap the phone to scoop up the bacteria, fungi, yeast, uh, whatever is on there. Next step is to transfer all these things over on the agar plate. I already broke it a bit, but that isn't a problem. I'll do better on the next one. Spoiler alert, I didn't do better on the next one. You need to store them upside down, so no condensation drips on the plate. So this is where I watch TikTok. My girlfriend will probably think I peed on a seat. If you're watching this, I didn't, I'm just spreading bacteria. Told you I wasn't going to do better next time. I'm wearing gloves by the way, not to protect my hands, but to protect the agar plate, my hands are disgusting. I will transfer bacteria on there if I don't wear gloves. Next, my terrarium. While I'm taking swaps, Bob here is enjoying a snack. Who's a good Bob? Remember what the goal is here? Mainly to see what is dirtier, my phone or my toilet. So basically, see if my hands or my ass are dirtier. While I was taking this swap, I had a feeling I was being watched. Yeah. 
No, I can't because that would contaminate my gloves. Okay, this is starting to get boring. Don't worry, we're almost there. I'm going faster now. This is a new machine, so I'm guessing nothing will grow in a plate. Oh boy, was I wrong. You'll see it at the end, but it's bad. Very bad. These are my party shoes. That means beer. A lot of beer. I'm wondering if bacteria can grow in a pattern. I'm just drawing something random here. This is not sped up by the way, I'm just fast. The antrarium could be interesting. Ants have antibacterial saliva, so it should be clean in there. Oh boy, was I wrong again. Again, stick till the end, you'll see, it's bad. I guess this ant wants freedom. And lastly, we have a jar of mold. But uh, I'm definitely not opening this inside. If you are wondering why I have one jar of mold, I don't. I have four. Hope that answers your question. So these are the 10 plates. The instructions say to keep them at 48 degrees Fahrenheit for 4 days. Okay, close enough. So I flipped you off and made you watch a crappy video so far. Is this the right time to promote my Patreon? That banner though. If a few of you join, let's say 10,000, I'll be rich and you only lose one and a half dollar per month. In my eyes, that's the best deal in the history of deals. Oh, and you get a chat community, behind the scenes, early access, and more. No one? Okay, never mind. Let's check the results. I already ordered the plates from cleanest to dirtiest, but this order is going to change a lot by day 4. So all these little circles you see are bacteria colonies that start from one single bacteria each. And as you can see, the terrarium has a lot of them. This is what I expected in a terrarium full of life. But I didn't expect this. The light switch is nasty. Size doesn't matter by the way. It is the plate with the most colonies that is the dirtiest. Because that one had the most bacteria at the start. The shoe is interesting. I think that might be some yeast growing. That doesn't surprise me. Those things are walking breweries. The phone was the biggest surprise. So far it is the cleanest. Only two small colonies. But like I said, this is going to change. A lot. The toilet also still pretty clean. About four colonies. For now. So this is the result after one day. How does this line up with your prediction from the start? On to day two. Things have changed a lot, but not with this terrarium. That plate was already pretty full on day one. Hey, these things kinda look like jellyfish, and that one kinda looks like a uh, never mind. The bacteria are taking on the pattern I drew. Pretty cool. The hand plate has something weird, but I'm not sure what that is. I'm a biologist, but uh, not a good one. As expected, the mold jar has a lot of bacteria. So my new washing machine has some yellow bacteria. I don't know if that's bad or good. Just kidding, that's bad. Definitely bad. The fridge is still pretty clean. What is concerning me the most, my fridge is dirtier than my toilet, that can't be good. The keyboard is growing some mold, which is pretty weird. By day 4 this is going to be filled. For the phone, it is the last day it is going to spend on the cleanest side, you'll see tomorrow. Of course we can't draw conclusions yet, but I uh, would have loved that the thing I keep my food in was cleaner than the thing I put my ass on. The terrarium is growing something pretty cool. I think that's mold, and it is finally getting some competition. The mold jar is getting there. You definitely see the shape I drew now, and some red bacteria are growing. Don't know what it is. Okay, now my washing machine is growing some mold too. Remember, this was a new machine. The toilet is getting worse, but uh, still not as bad as I expected. This is the keyboard my hands are on right now, by the way. What are those black dots? Is there a microbiologist that can help me? And the phone is officially worse than the toilet. Those are more colonies. I wonder if it will stay that way for the final result tomorrow. Quickly changing the order here. I'm 
glad my fridge is the cleanest here. Best glad that my phone is dirtier than my toilet. Let's take a look at the final results. These two are still the worst. These didn't change a lot. I know the keyboard looks bad, but that's just the mold that is expanding. And then final result for phone versus toilet. No doubt, the phone is dirtier. A lot. So these are the final results. Now excuse me, I need to go do something. You go watch this video now. Do it. Now. Please. Thank you to all members, patrons and everyone that watched. And thank you to the new patrons. You can join by the link in the description. I think you'll like this video next. Bye.